Hi everyone, welcome to It's Our Family. And today, we're gonna have our Saturday story. So, I want you to tune in and listen to our spiritual devotional that we're gonna give you today. Okay, let me bring you to what I consider the parable in the Old Testament, specifically found in 2 Kings chapter 6. So, I'll be reading the verse coming from the Bible, and it says here, And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, See, now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please let us go to the Jordan, and let everyone take a beam from there, and let us make... A place where we may dwell. So he answered, Go. Then one said, Please consent to go with your servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them. And when they came to Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe fell into the water, and he cried out and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And so he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there, and he made the iron float. Therefore he said, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. I would, um, if you would notice in the verse, there was this series of events that they went there, they cut down trees, and somebody cried out na, Oy! Nahulog yung axe ko! And then it was borrowed. And then Elisha said, Where did it fall? And then tinuro niya kung saan yun. And then he threw a stick and the iron float. Then you might think from that na grabi ang miracle na nangyari. Because a stick is actually light. And then the iron is heavy. Yet the stick fell. And then the iron floated. But then that's not what I want to um, emphasize with you this, this day. I will give you three implications of that to our service as Christians. The first one is that, remember the story is telling us that the man was actually doing something. So he's actually in the service or he's actually there working for the service. He's actually building something. So he's in the process of cutting the trees. He's not lazy. He's not doing anything. He's actually very active working. That's a, that's the first one. But it's possible pala na while we are busy working, while we're so engrossed working for the Lord, for the service, possible pala na, you know, we might lose the power while serving Him. Na kahit nagtatrabaho tayo sa Panginoon o para sa Panginoon, may posibilidad na mawala yung power na yun. No? Which is very ironic. It's supposed to be like, you know, when we work, tapat, we have the power continuously in our hand. And that would lead us actually to the second implication. The second implication is that the axe that was fallen into the water also gives the power to the person to continue the service. So when it fell into the water, the service was stopped. So hindi na siya makakontinue ng cutting. So the same thing with us, no? We're doing a work... We're busy doing the work, and it's possible that we lose it. And second is that when we lose it, everything stops. That's the, that's the apparent thing that can happen to us. When we lose the power, no matter how um, motivated we are, no matter how, um, how we want to serve God, if we lose the power, we cannot continue. That's as simple as that. The third um, the third implication is that, remember, he cried out, or in the verse, it tells us that he cried out, Oh, it's a borrowed axe. Let me read to you the verse coming from that, where he said, the servant said that. 
that's found on chapter 6 verse um, 5 but as one was cutting down a tree the iron axe fell into the water and he cried out and said alas master for it was borrowed I want you to look at the last word borrowed so the axe was borrowed the power to serve the power to cut down trees the power to do the work was removed from the one who's holding it so the 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 service was cut off what's even more interesting is that it was borrowed i want you to know this rather that our power to serve god our power to do the service is actually borrowed. It does not come from our own effort. It does not come from our strength, our skills, our talents. Because the power comes from God. And the most interesting thing there is that pagkatas mahulog nung axe, he cried out, and Elisha heard it. You see, when you're so engrossed with the service, but your service was cut off, because you don't have the tools anymore. He lost the power. Okay? And what's, what is worse is that it was borrowed. It's not really yours. But when you cried out, God will actually hear you. So happened that God is sending people around us who can actually help us. They may be in the form of our neighbors. They may be in the form of people whom we trust, whom we are close with. Or it may be in the form of the prophet. In, in their time, it was in the form of Elisha. And Elisha came right away and asked, where did it fall? And the most astonishing part there is that he threw a stick, a light one that should float in the water. But instead, it sank and then let the axe float in the water. So this is something that we should think about. Okay? Where does our power come from? Where does our strength come from? We have to acknowledge that God is the one giving it to us. And remember the three things. Okay. First is that it's, it's possible that we lose the power even if we're doing His work. And second is that when we lose the power, everything is cut off. We cannot continue doing it. And the third is remember that our strength, our power, is just borrowed it comes from god so whatever we're doing now whatever we're um, embarking our strength on let's re let us remember these three things may we always remember that god will be with us and if things go wrong we can always cry out lord i need the power and i need the strength that's it for today and i hope you and i have been motivated in serving god more and more each day. And that's it for today. Bye!